Pensions have been in the spotlight as of late, from a pension age equalisation to a working mum's top-up. To discuss the current state of pensions, we spoke to Stuart Price of Quantum Advisory. Well, the first one is in relation to state pension and the age it can be taken at. So that's currently at an age 65 for both males and females, and that's increasing over time. So from October next year, it's going to be age 66. And then from 2026, it's going to be 67. And then from 2039, it's going to be 68. Now, obviously, back in the uh, the old old days, uh, females took their pension from the state at 60 and males at 65. But it's been equalised and you can see the ages are going uh, up and up. You know, what is the reason for that? Well, it's the fact that we are living longer and when we live longer, it's great news. But it means, though, that pensions are paid for a longer period of time and obviously more costly for the state to provide. So that's one of the reasons why they've been, been increasing the state, state pension age. But then if you look at the demographics of the of the UK itself, then obviously the number of people in retirement is increasing and the number of people in work is reducing as, as, as part of the ratio between the two. And essentially, it's the workers who pay their national insurance that fund the state pension that's currently being paid to, to pensioners. So, again, you can see a bigger dilemma that the, the government's going to have over a number of years is that there's less people working, less national insurance being paid but more people claiming state pensions. So really, I mean, I can only see that age going up and up and up in, in the future, you know. And also the current levels of state pension, is it sustainable? We just don't know. I don't think it is. So what I can see is maybe a rise in ages, a reduction in the state pension, and even maybe have to be having an increase in taxes to pay for it all as well. But, you know, if you want to make sure we've got a good level of income from the state in retirement, then we need to ensure that, you know, something has to be done in, in the short term to make sure we address this big issue. So that's one of the issues that is coming up in the pensions legislation. The other one is in relation to really sort of uh, ladies who go off um, on maternity and obviously they maybe take um, a career break or then come back part time. And it's in relation to you know, their pension savings, because obviously when they're out of work, they're not saving for their pension uh, provision privately. So obviously you can save your pension um, in addition to what you get from the state. So what this proposal is doing is quite a nice idea. It's just saying that for these individuals who go off to work on, on maternity, then the government would top up their private pension by maybe £2,000. It's a good idea. £2,000, though, it sounds a lot of money, but in the context of pensions, it's not really that much at all. But hopefully, though, with this um, this idea, maybe it will get these types of cohorts of, of people. So when they come back to work to think about their pensions, and uh, maybe if it's affordable to them, maybe they can pay in a little bit more to make up you know, the lost uh, pension contributions they've had while they've been off work, um, looking after, after their children, uh, etc.